Begin in the Apical 5 chamber view and enable color Doppler, positioning the box over the LV cavity, LVOT, and the aortic valve, screening for flow acceleration via the presence of aliasing. Enable pulse wave and begin in the mid cavity, looking for aliasing. Next, move to the LVOT and position the gate roughly where you would measure an LVOT VTI, once again looking for aliasing, which is seen below. Last, position over the aortic valve. This shows normal aortic valve flows. Once you've identified the region of most significant aliasing, change to CW and align the beam with this region. If there is LVOT obstruction present, you will see a dagger-shaped waveform with a late systolic peak as seen below. Freeze the image and measure the peak systolic velocity. The LVOT gradient is equal to four times the peak systolic velocity squared. A significant gradient is greater than 30 millimeters of mercury and severe is greater than 50.